Hey guys, it's Lori. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you will like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things to join in the fun. If you're not new here, welcome back. I'm really glad you came back. You guys, Merry Christmas and happy whatever holiday you celebrate. This is going to be my last video of 2022. So the next time you hear from me, you'll probably be hearing what I completed in November and December and what my plans are for the new year. You guys, I wanna unbox this. I'm so excited. I love this Hannah Lynn. I loved it before it was a diamond painting and I've been waiting for it. Oleana's Otter, how cute. Let me share with you. I don't know if you all know the Alex and Annie bracelets. Let me see if I can get it on my hand. So look at this, whoops, stay up there. Look at this little guy. He's an otter. I love otters. My sister has the other bracelet that came with this that comes in a set of two and their little arms link and when they're, the charms are put together. So um, very, very cute. I was gonna get my sister this for Christmas, but she went and ordered it. Ah! <laughs> so I had to come up with something else anyway. So, but I would definitely want to, uh, to unbox this because I'm going to be doing it the last week of December because I've already finished uh, my uh, Wonder Woman 1984. Love it. I cannot wait to show you all that at the end of the month. But anyway, all right, Oleana's Otter. She is a 17 by 24 little baby painting. <laughs> and she is round from Diamond Art Club. I better mention that. All right. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing that wasn't done like a Name That Canvas. So here is our little sticker and here is our toolkit. I'm always so excited about these new toolkits and seeing what color my pen is and what washi tape and of course what my cute cover monitor looks like. So let's see. All right, I had a friend that unboxed this and she got a cover minder that was a bear with a pineapple. And I was like, you know, I never thought, are they all the same? So I don't know. Uh, all right, so we got a purple pen. You know, I, I, you guys, I have an idea for these pens that involves putting them in rainbow order. So I am collecting those. Ooh, look at that foil washi. I like that one. That will be very useful. Probably use it in card making or uh, scrapbooking. I don't really use washi tape on my uh, paintings unless there's a big amount around the edges. And I really hate that because I stick my shirt to it. Um, we've got our multi-placers. We've got our heart waxes. I love, love that case. I even like this tray, but I don't know about you all, but do you all have trouble with this clear tray uh, and like static electricity? I have a little bit of trouble with that. But you guys, I did get a bear, but he has a strawberry. Oh, I love him. How cute. I just, oh, and our baggies. I just love that Diamond Art Club has started doing that for us. That is just a fun addition. I mean, this is exciting enough to get this. I cannot wait to see what this looks like in person. All right, guys. Oh, look, it's, it, this is going to be so fast. Oh, say hi, Moo Moo. Moo Moo thinks she has to be in all the videos because she's TikTok famous. You guys, her TikTok with um, my rooster, I don't know if you saw it or not. There is a reel on here of her and Peckerhead the rooster um, on TikTok. 2.3 million views and i think we're up to 750k on instagram crazy she's she's trying to get the otter <laughs> on my bracelet so oh my gosh look how pretty she is look at that little otter face oh, okay all right <laughs> here's our sheet with our stickers how to diamond paint if you don't know how and of course, oh, look at this. You guys, I do think that I'm gonna do something. Um, I love, this is 17 by 24. And here's what, I don't necessarily love 
all this tummy down here. So I think, and I love a 16 by 20 frame. So I think that I could probably go either on this side and, you know, maybe take a half inch here and here or however on the sides and then take about four is 24, yeah, from here and get rid of that like little belly button. That's just a preference. I'm, you know, I'm, I don't know. Like this otter, that's, I, let's be real, that's my main goal, but that's what I may do because um, I think that will be really easy to frame and it will really kind of, I don't know, I just feel like this distracts down here. So it shouldn't be much to take that off and about four inches. And I think that'll make it more all about the otter and Oleana and that hair. Look at that hair and headband. Ugh. Let's look at these. All right. We've got 45 colors. Let's see. There we go. 45 colors. And it looks like we've got four ABs, one of which being, you know, that 141. And let's see if I can find these in a reasonable amount of time. Aha. Ooh, that's pretty. 132. Oh, you're all over here. <laughs> and it looks like there's going to be a pink. Let's see. Come on. Oh, yep. 113, which is pink. Um, 141, if you don't already know, there's a white. This makes the, it makes it, I have no complaints. It makes it so pretty. So we've got yellow, orange, pink. I haven't found the yellow yet. Oh, here we go. It's kind of like a green yellow, that 135. But yeah, the 141 makes it. Let's do a 310 count. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four bags of 310 for a 17 by 24 diamond painting. So yes, we know that the Hannah Lynn's have a lot of black because we've got all this outlining and yes, I love it. I Let me share with you also um, how I've been doing my diamond paintings and I love it because I would section my diamond paintings and I usually would start like down here and I'd pull it up and I'd take it into three sections. Well, I would get, you know, I'd do that all the way up, you know, three across here and three across here and three across here. Then I'd get to this section right here in the middle. And I always hated, especially if it was a bigger painting, leaning over and doing the middle of this painting. So what I've been doing, I always do my paintings turned sideways and I take my painting and do this and kind of squeeze it right here, and it marks halfway. Then I take it here, squeeze it, and mark halfway. So I know where the half is this way, the half is this way. Okay, then I'll also, will go ahead and come from here to here and squeeze. And I will tell you, sometimes I put a little pin mark, cause I cut this off when I frame it. Um, and then, so you see this right here to here. So I would take my little scissors. I've got some really sharp, like little surgical scissors that I stole from my Dr. Hubby. And I just kind of cut the white or the, the, the clear uh, film back. I cut it, try to go straight to this point. And so I will do this section first this section second. So I'll have a fourth of my painting done. Then I'll do this section and this section, and then I'll have exactly half. I love looking at a diamond painting halfway done. It's just a neat, really neat way to look at it. But, um, and if you follow me on Instagram, One Fun Diamond Painter, you will get to see all my progress photos and you will kind of see what I'm talking about a little more about how, cause I post each section. I usually post the fourth part, the half part, the three quarters part, the, and then the whole diamond painting. So, um, yeah, so that's the way I separate out my sections. Sometimes that does tend to get to be a large section, but I don't mind that. So if you don't want to, if you have to 
finish your section in one setting. That might not be for you, but you know when you peel up that plastic and it's up here, it's also out of your way because you've peeled it up, your arms aren't sticking to it, you got your cover minder there, and then I just take my scissors when I'm done and just kind of cut it, cut it off. Or if I'm not finished with that section, I'll just lay it back down and go about my day. So just a little bit of extra on there. <laughs> so let's take one more appreciation look at Oleana. I love her. I cannot wait to do this. I might have to pack her to get to my mom's. She's just too pretty to leave at home because I don't know if I can go two days without diamond painting. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Do you take your diamond painting along with you when you travel? So, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas, and I hope you get to do a little diamond painting. Bye.